Well, the year was 1969. The Vietnam War was ongoing. Richard Nixon was sworn into office as president. The Apollo 11 crew landed on the moon. And the Beatles' Yellow Submarine was topping the music charts. <laughs> it was also the year that Phil Archer moved to Houston. Seven years later, in 1976, he joined the KPRC team, not knowing that his outstanding career would become a storied part of this TV station's history. And now, more than 44 years later, he's about to sign off. Who is this? Ron Burgundy? Who is this guy, right? <laughs> Anchorman. Phil Archer. We are celebrating him before his retirement at the end of this week. Here is our Brandon Walker with a look back at Phil's role as a Houston newsman for more than four decades. His name is Phil Archer. He's the overnight man for Big Two News. On the streets all night long. This long, tall tale begins with a hard day's night. Archer keeps in touch with the world while most of us are asleep. Phil Archer earned his ticket to ride roaming the streets on the cop beat. No yellow submarine, but his news truck kept him afloat with all the era's bells and whistles, including a phone. The Bayou City, a new frontier for this cowboy turned cameraman who learned to walk the beat from the man who ran it. Former KPRC2 reporter, the late Jack Cato. Jack gave me my first job that got me on the police beat. Jack and Phil were together one Saturday night in May, 1978. The night a riot erupted at Moody Park, the crime reporting gumshoes caught straight in the crosshairs of the community's rage over an injustice. It happened in a period of a lot of tension uh, in Houston. The tension was caused by the death of Joe's, Joe Campos Torres. That happened about a year earlier. It happened at the hands of some Houston police officers. Both men were ambushed in the riot. Phil was stabbed, knocked unconscious, left cold in the street. The nation watched as a cub reporter licked his wounds. Ray Miller, Big Two News' news director, the man who hired Phil, visibly worried about the kid who recovered and returned to telling the big story. Phil Archer, Big Two News. Phil's 41st year saw the Astros win the World Series, a high that came months after Hurricane Harvey saw us at our lowest. Yeah, go to the channel. Hey, I need help? Phil brought us to New Orleans after Katrina, and who'll ever forget Ike? How far have you been pushing that? Since 24th Street. Phil Archer won't because he was there on the ground reporting for us. And there's a flotilla of boats out here taking people out. As Phil says hello to this goodbye, we come together to celebrate. For starters, no more rain. You can come inside now, Phil. And while tomorrow never knows what may be, we're thankful for yesterday. 44 years worth of yesterdays. Wherever life's long winding road next takes you. Be careful out there. Reporting from West Harris County, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Let it be. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.